In this video we are going to talk about top 5 best adult only cruise lines. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Nothing is more annoying than being stuck on a plane with a crying child. Actually, being stranded 300 miles out at sea with one is about as entertaining as a barrel of monkeys. Cruises used to be a sophisticated, grown-up way of travel, but the kids have suddenly taken control. The days of soaking up the sunshine on the top deck with nothing but the sea and the sun for company are long gone. There are more children running around now than at a daycare center unless, of course, you've done your research and booked an adults-only cruise. These refined cruising experiences are a far cry from the Disney-style cruises that are becoming increasingly popular. There are no cartoon characters, enormous waterslides, fun zones, or children under the age of 18. If that seems like your idea of heaven, these are the top 5 adult-only cruises to take. Number 5, Saiga. Saga's line of cruises for the 50-plus crowd is a wonderful option if your definition of child includes anyone under the age of 50. The 999-passenger Spirit of Discovery is the newest addition to its fleet. With a two-story main dining room and four additional restaurants, theater performances, relaxation lounges, a full-service spa, and a golf simulator, it represents the best of the line, departing from Dover in the United Kingdom and calling it Gothenburg, Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden, Helsinki, Finland, St. Petersburg, Russia, Tallinn, Estonia, Kalenborg, Denmark, and Aalborg, Denmark. Saga Shipping, usually known as Saga Cruises, is a cruise line based in Folkestone, England, and is a branch of Saga PLC. Saga Cruises caters to and operates exclusively for persons over the age of 50. Number 4, Virgin Voyages. Virgin Voyages, which debuted in 2020, is one of the newest additions to the cruise lineup, but it has already made an effect. Each of the three vessels in the line is only for adults. The Scarlet Lady, the company's first ship, is a very stylish, high-end vessel that can accommodate up to 2,770 passengers. With a full treatment spa, a mudroom, a hydrotherapy pool, quartz beds, an assault room, an outside sun deck and yoga area, an interior gym with a boxing ring and group courses, a test kitchen, a fancy nightclub, and the world's largest daybed at sea, the amenities are cutting edge. Virgin Voyages has two ships in its fleet as of April 2022, with two more on order, each with a capacity of about 2,700 passengers. The first ship, Scarlet Lady, set sail from Portsmouth on August 6 with solely UK itineraries. Scarlet Lady began sailing from Port Miami in October 2021, specializing in four- to five-night Caribbean cruises. Virgin announced on June 23, 2015 that it had signed a binding letter of intent with Italian shipbuilder Fincantieri for the construction of three cruise ships to be delivered in 2020, 2021 and 2022 mid-sized vessels of 110,000 GT each with 1,150 crew members and 1,430 guest cabins capable of accommodating over 2,800 passengers. The final contract for the ship's construction was finalized in October 2016, with a total cost of less than $2 billion projected. The ships, according to McAlpin, will be designed differently than other ships on the market, with a focus on the young at heart. In October 2018, a fourth ship was ordered for delivery in 2023. Virgin Voyages stated in November 2016 that it has partnered with Klimian to put its sustainable energy technology on its ships, which would create energy from the Engine's cooling water and cut carbon dioxide emissions. Virgin Voyages announced in February 2019 that it would eliminate all single-use plastics from its fleet. Number 3, Sixth Man. Cruisers wishing to soak up some musical vibes at sea might try a cruise with Sixth Man, according to Trip Savvy. The company, which is a leader in festivals and music cruises, commissioned ships like the Norwegian Pearl to operate as floating music festivals. Other ships feature country musicians, blues bands, and more. The Kiss Cruise from Miami combines fun activities with two Kiss shows, while other voyages have country artists, blues bands, and more. Norwegian Cruise Line now owns Sixth Man, a theme cruise charter firm. Sixth Man, which started off as a music festival company, took to the high seas in 2001 with a charter for 400 rock music enthusiasts at an onboard event dubbed The Rock Boat. In 2002, the company released The Rock Boat 2, which launched them into the full ship music cruise charter sector. 
Throughout the early 2000s, the company continued to organize and promote both ship and land-based music events, but in 2012, it became a completely owned subsidiary of Norwegian Cruise Line, converting their loyal music festival clients into new cruise line passengers. Sixth Man continues to conduct music-themed cruises of many genres, but it has also introduced sports and entertainment-themed cruises. According to Sixth Man CEO Anthony Diaz, the company is considering expanding into practically any field where there is a pocket of enthusiasm that can be translated into a vacation experience. He explicitly highlighted future festivals centered on celebrities from television, movies, and sports. Number 2, P and Amp, O. Cruises. While P and Amp, O. Cruises hasn't given up on the family market, they have realized the desire for adults-only cruise ships and have implemented an adults-only policy on three of its ships, according to thepointsguy.com. The Aurora is the newest ship to join their fleet, with a capacity of 1,874 people. It has a good selection of food options, as well as a casino, a movie theater, a full-service spa, and a theater, making it a suitable choice for clients seeking for a mid-sized option. P and Amp, O. Oh. Cruises is a British cruise line based in Southampton, England, and owned by Carnival Corporation and AMP, PLC. It is run by Carnival UK and owned by Carnival Corporation and AMP, PLC. It was established in 1977 as a subsidiary of the shipping firm P and AMP, O. It has the longest history of any cruise line in the world, dating back to P and AMP, O's inaugural passenger operations in 1837, along with P and AMP, O. Cruises Australia, another former subsidiary of P and Amp, O. The Golden Cockerel Trophy is given by P and Amp, O. Cruises to the fastest ship in its fleet. Aurora presently holds the prize, having reached a top speed of 25.7 knots in April 2019. The first Oriana had it until her retirement in 1986, Canberra held it until her retirement in 1997 and the second Oriana held it until her retirement in 2019. Number 1, Viking Ocean Cruises All Viking Ocean trips have been adult-only cruises since the outset, according to CruiseTravelOutlet.com. They offer a sophisticated, grown-up cruising experience with itineraries that emphasis on destination immersion as one of the premier cruise lines for over 18s. Guest lectures, curated wine tastings, and cookery lessons are all common activities. A fitness center and spa featuring a sauna, pools, tubs, and a spectacular snow grotto are among the cutting-edge onboard amenities. Viking Cruises, previously Viking Cruises, is a river, ocean, and expedition cruise line. Its marketing headquarters are in Los Angeles, California, and its operations headquarters are in Basel, Switzerland. Viking River Cruises, Viking Ocean Cruises, and Viking Expeditions are the three divisions of the corporation. It has a fleet of 76 river vessels and six ocean ships, and offers trips on the rivers and oceans of North and South America, the Caribbean, Europe, Russia, Egypt, China, and Southeast Asia as of February 2020. In 2013, the Viking Ocean Cruises Division was established. In 2015, it launched its first ship, the Viking Star, with voyages to Scandinavia, the British Isles, the Baltic, and the Mediterranean Sea. Viking Sea joined the fleet in 2016, and Viking Sky and Viking Sun, the fleet's third and fourth ships, were added in 2017. Each of Viking Ocean Cruises' first four ships was named after the Royal Viking Line's first four ships, of which Viking Cruises founder Torstein Hagen served as CEO from 1980 to 1985. Viking Orion, the company's fifth ocean vessel, joined the fleet in June 2018. The Viking Star Class is one-third the size of many cruise ships manufactured by major cruise lines, allowing it to dock in smaller ports. It had an overall length of 745.4 feet, 227.2 meters, a beam of 94.5 feet, 28.8 meters, a draft of 20.7 feet, 6.3 meters, and a gross tonnage of 47,800 GT Fincantieri Shipyard in Ancona, Italy, built the four ships, and London-based SMC Design and Los Angeles-based Rotted Studio created the Scandinavian-influenced modernist interior design. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.